Time to wake up. Tour has been great. Um, yeah. Enslaved has just been a real pleasure to be on tour with and friends now, I would say. And um, they've been incredibly supportive and respectful, and I'm a giant fan. So uh, yeah. it's a real honor and pleasure. And we've definitely, we, we haven't. Um, every city that we've played so far, we've played before. However, we there's some places that we've never played before. Like mm -hmm. um, we never played Thalia Hall, for example. We played uh, um, the El Rey in Los Angeles. Nice. Um, and that's yeah. a really fabulous venue. Uh, uh, last night in Minneapolis was also fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we were just having a super good time. It's, it's not uncommon, you know, we hit, I mean, the mm -hmm. amps, you know, like with pedals and compressors and stuff, we hit the the front end of amps pretty hard, and as mm -hmm. a result, sometimes they, they don't like it. <laughs> and it actually started cracking the resonant head, oh, and then it man. actually obliterated. for that whatsoever and so uh, yeah we're always surprised and in some mm -hmm. cases completely like perplexed um, where it, where the albums ended up and yeah um, you know we're definitely happy about it. Well, we try to record records like a live band and so everything that we've engineered and figured out for our gear and for our, our tones and um, how we want to sound live that's just what we bring in the studio and when we record we record the rhythm tracks everything all together live for the first you know guitar bass and drums mm -hmm. and make sure that it's a live band live feel um, we're all in the same room together playing uh, we don't do a single instrument at a time and you know you sacrifice a little bit of clarity sometimes with that but right for us we're willing to make that sacrifice to have the feel of it be the band and so then when we bring that on stage it's not like some kind of foreign element you know occasionally We'll do, we will layer things in the studio that are either difficult or um, will never happen live. Like but if you needed a second guitarist yeah, for a part, yeah, but exactly. it's, yeah. You know, but you yeah. know, I, I use a, a style of picking that's kind of like old country mm -hmm. blues, but so I can, I'm able to make a lot of noise with mm -hmm. my right hand and, and that helps a little, but the same, at the same time, records are records and right. live is live. So we'll layer things in the studio and be like, well, you know, we're not gonna be a band forever. But the record will be around longer than we will, theoretically, so it's yeah. okay. Some things change and some things are kind of instrumental, like that I always use. Mm -hmm. The things that I always use are, um, my guitar is made by uh, Brent Monson and they're called, uh, the model is called the Nomad. And um, uh, I've, I have two of those guitars and no matter what my head or cabinet is or any fest or whatever, I have that guitar. Yeah. Those guitars, um, they're loaded with Lace Nitro Hemi pickups and Lace has been very nice to, um, you know, give me some support with those and I really love those pickups. Um, <laughs> uh, one thing that's indispensable, I always have, I always bring my pedal board which is, has a um, Pigtronics Germanium Philosopher's Tone. Which is great pedal. I have a uh, Rochester orange box which was made by um, the guy who invented MXR and uh, really? it's basically a copy of a Phase 90 but a really high-end copy. I always have a, a Bad Horsey Morley uh, Law pedal though I hardly ever use it but I always have it on my board because I mm -hmm. used to use those a lot more. I have a, uh, let's see, what else? My favorite pedal that I have is the Quantum Mystic Overdrive which I helped design. Black Arts Tone Works. Um, it was based off of a, um, a pedal that I used to use, and um, but it had some things about it that made it not very versatile for other amplifiers. Right. And so um, I based it off of a, we based it off of a, um, a Ross distortion, and uh, but Ross distortion used to just have a, it just has gain and volume and that's it. And this right. pedal has bass, metal, and treble also, and it's cascading gain, so. As you turn up the EQs, mm -hmm. I've been able to use with numerous different kinds of amps, 
in rented gear, my own gear, and it's always worked. I write about things that are that are close to my heart and that um, that I'm how I'm actually trying to live and. Uh, and when I write, it's really kind of for me, you know, it's like it's medicine. Um, and then for anyone who finds something in it that they relate to, that's incredible. And uh, always, uh, you know, occasionally I do meet people that really resonate and have similar experiences or feelings. Mm -hmm. um, or it opens up dialogues and uh, um, that's always amazing. I get to learn from that as well as from writing. And uh, I like ideas that breathe a little space into what we take for granted. Um, the names and ideas that we've come up with that we live by that really are just for us in this time. They work because we all agree on them. And, uh, but actually reality has a lot more diversity than that. I think we can see, our eyeballs can see 1% color spectrum. <laughs> and we can hear yeah. less than 1%. Of the spectrum. It's pretty crazy to think about. It's but just... everything we take for granted being the things that we end up killing each other for. So um, I just, I really like ideas that breathe space around those things. And uh, when I have more space around what I'm taking for granted, yeah. I end up feeling better. I mean, you know, it's it's an interesting thing. There's, there's a lot of nuance there because yeah. when I say that I write it just for me. Right. Um, I mean, by myself in my bedroom, the rehearsal space, when I'm hammering out something, mm -hmm. yeah, I do have to really focus on where I'm at. However, when you can then have people connect with you, the music, and not just on like a, and on a number of different levels. I mean, right. there, are, there are people I'm sure that could give two fucks about what I'm writing about and just love heavy riffs and, and <laughs> right. songs that have a good flow to them and if that's the level if that's where they want to connect brilliant um if people they're they get some of the other concepts or yeah. resonate with them then that's brilliant too and um obviously we don't exist in a vacuum you know we exist in a world where we're playing with other bands people are coming to shows people are supporting us and mm -hmm. so it's very much a circle so on the other side of that coin is we have no separation whatsoever from the people that come and hear and receive and support and mm -hmm. um and that is extraordinary you know not taken for granted extremely grateful it's a miracle um, <laughs> all that stuff yeah we don't take that for granted